I thought it was kind of fancy to call it a profit center. It sounds very enterprising, don't you think? <laughs> it's enterprising, and while you're being so enterprising, you're so elegant also with your <laughs> scarf. I wouldn't say it's an enterprising scarf, it's just elegant. You know what else is elegant and enterprising is numbers. Ooh. Numbers, numbers when you are trying to assess what's working and what's not. Welcome to Simple Sense for Small Business, Biz Glitch 366. It's a whole mouthful. I got to get it out for you. Here we are on day 31, January 31st. Linda Ray, take it away. When was the last time you analyzed your profit centers for if you have different products and services? So what does that mean? Because we kind of haven't really touched on bookkeeping except for maybe one glitch before this, but today is about bookkeeping. If you're working really hard on something that's not working, you can't work hard on something that could possibly work or try something else that could be a better suited, profitable experience for your productivity and for your bottom line. Now, don't get confused by that last <laughs> turn of phrase by the amazing Linda Ray. She kind of <laughs> excels at these uh, jocular and funny and humorous terms, including, is, is today Tuesday? Because it feels like Monday. She's famous for that <laughs> on social media. So if you're a little confused, like I often am with those phrases, just Rewind a little bit and you'll get the whole thing. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. I'm here to translate. Well, thank you for not <laughs> cutting and making me redo it and actually putting the onus on the listener and the viewer to go back and figure out what I just said. Okay. It's always <laughs> about the audience. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the goal. With the goal, we're going to make it pretty simple and just tell you to reach out to your tax professional if you need a little nudge here and there. Yeah, it's a good idea. People t tend to like leave things to the last minute and then they scramble around and that's where things can go by the wayside or that's where things can fall through the cracks and all the other cliches about missing the mark. Well, they try to do it by themselves also without the guidance of their tax profession. Now we have other glitches where we talk about CPAs versus tax preparers. And one of the standards you will see in those other glitches is the standard of can you get your CPA on the phone at any time throughout the year? And this right now is one of those moments. Well, you're foreshadowing the actionable item because included in the I'm link. like that. I know. <laughs> including in the link below is the uh, video slash podcast of us talking about is your CPA helping or hindering you? And this is so vital because it is the beginning of the year. It's January 31st. It's the last day of the month. And technically 1099s are due, which is a whole other glitch. Oof. But I think people they just don't really understand how the numbers and the data, they, they're gonna make your experience of running your business just so much more celebratory. Yeah, and mm -hmm. remove a whole bunch of stress from your life. You know, yeah, you can put it off and put it off, but you know what happens when you put it off? Then it's all a pile, and then you're really even more stressed than mm -hmm. if you just attacked the thing early on and got it done. Right? Well, yes, and that is why you are going to love the actionable item. Are you ready? Uh, bop, 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 bop. <laughs> this glitch could be debated that it could be arguably the most procrastinated task a business owner may experience. So we have three tips for you. And Trevor, why don't you share? Oh, I'm going to share. The tips. Because you were right when you said I was going to love this. I know. I know. Actionable item number one. If you don't have a system for bookkeeping, wait for it. Here it comes. Develop one. Actionable item number two for BizGlitch 31, start organizing now to ensure the proper timing for tax preparation. And number three, contact your CPA for assistance on how this could be accomplished most efficiently. That was very professional. I, I, Are you sure you don't I, do voiceover work? <laughs> I do not. <laughs> <laughs> During the pandemic, here's a little sidebar, side note. Among many glitches that we experienced, one of them was that either someone didn't have a CPA or they didn't really know their CPA oh. or they were a, not even a CPA, they were a tax professional, which uh, that's fine. And, and people know. would call them, well, my CPA. And then when I looked up their certification, yeah. they were actually just tax preparers, not certified public accountants. You don't need a CPA to do your bookkeeping. People sometimes have a separate bookkeeper 
and maybe it's a checks and balances thing or whatever. Uh, you could also, depending on the size of your business, do your own bookkeeping if you feel more confident and have more control over it. But the thing is, what we see is that people don't do it. That is why we're saying do it. <laughs> When it comes to bookkeeping, by the way, one of our other glitches, actually maybe a couple of them talk about bookkeeping and bookkeepers, hiring a bookkeeper and the positives and the potential negatives of having a bookkeeper, including potential criminal yeah, activity. Indeed. Well, with that, there's no criminal activity going on if you click on the link below to find out more about our Glitch Project because we know that some of these things, we don't do them. And when we don't do them, we find out what happens if we don't do them. So click on the link, be a Glitch Guru, get all 366 glitches for you to have these glitches in your purview and have awareness so you can minimize and mitigate. So Linda Ray, let me just be clear. What you're saying is, do do them. Do do them. <laughs> do 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 do. Mana mana. Tomorrow's February 1st. Glitch number 32. Seen a bit? And alliterative. Alliterative. Uh, alliterative. 